So I think games offer us something that traditional curriculum really is missing, and a lot of the way schools are arranged with walls um, where you know we go in here and we're going to do mathematics for 45 minutes, and the reasons why we do mathematics, well, that's somewhere out in the world. That's not here. But you're going to use it later on, so you really should know it. It's called um, Mapping Healthy World. With a game, we can actually bring those worlds into the classroom and make those available to kids. So a kid can travel to Tanzania or into a Van Gogh painting um, within, within that 40 minutes that they have to do science or to do art. Well, we're trying to rebuild the arch that evil people knock down. Um, and uh, tra we're trying to help, bas basically help the people of, Quest er, of Atlantis. There's this council and you have to, they can't do it alone, so you have to try to help them. Yes, they're quite, they're the dominant form of entertainment, but do I really want the storytellers that are educating my children to be Sony, Blizzard, you know, electronic arts? Um, I think there are a lot of wonderful games out there that have really good messages. But I think that we as educators need to enter that market and start to develop compelling stories that kids will want to adopt in addition to those commercial ones. And so I, what this grant allows us is to kind of enter that game, to bring up the quality of our software, to bring up the quality of our storylines, and then ultimately to show to the commercial industry that you can actually develop a space that will be used not by five or 600, because no budget's gonna justify that, but by 30, 40,000 kids worldwide. When I, I just got back from a meeting at the MacArthur Foundation, and there was a sense that uh, we were on the edge of something really big, and they were trying to kind of break out of the box and expose the world to new forms of literacy, to new ways that kids could learn, to new types of curriculum that ultimately could uh, kind of change us from um, the notion that there's these kind of content that was done by these people who are now dead and your job is to kind of acquire it, to switch us to thinking through how we can use these tools to help kids become producers, become critical creators, not just simply consumers of, of information that they're taught not to question. Well, you just kind of follow the trails and you draw stuff. You know, we thought, wow, this is a really nice way for kids to write, and enjoyable, but then after we use the program, it's so much more valuable than that. It cuts across all learning styles, um, different levels. There's sort of a something for everyone. And you can see we have measurable growth. It's not just saying, wow, I think they're doing a good job. We have actual qualitative and quantitative measurement. Follow the trail. Go down to the portals. The teacher's role is incredibly uh, necessary. We've done a lot of research in which we've looked at what is the role of the teacher in these spaces because of the big fear of, you know, our game's going to replace the teacher. And what we find is exactly the opposite. Um, it's really hard to make a game that a kid can't figure out what to click on and move through and kind of win with a cheat code. And so what teachers do is they really get kids to think deeply about what they're submitting, about the questions that are going on in the space, about what science is necessary to make sense of it. See if they've met all the details of the quest. What they really wanted was, can you start to make this available and support its implementation worldwide in large numbers? So multiple countries um, moving from two or 3,000 to 20, 30,000 kids. Um, and in those different countries start to help us learn what it means to think about connecting kids from inner city North Carolina to, you know, um, the beach in Australia to downtown somewhere in Bombay. So this is fun, undoubtedly, uh, but uh, do you feel like it's educational? Yes, I do. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm <laughs> fine with that.